So the question is, is what is port forwarding? So let's say you want to have a server accessible from the outside world uh, on your internal network. So you're going to be doing something such as a web server. Well, if you want people to be able to access the server from the outside world, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to create a domain name and then you're going to have to point the A record for that domain name to your external IP address, whatever the external IP address is that your ISP has given you. The problem that you're going to run into is then people will be directed to that IP address, which is the external link of your router. But from that point, the question is, is what is that router supposed to do with your traffic once it hits that external IP address? That's what port forwarding is. So whenever you're dealing with networking, all the different protocols use different ports. So port 25, port 21, uh, with HTTP, basically web traffic, you use port 80. So whenever you're dealing with any kind of internet-based traffic, you're always dealing with the IP address, whatever that is, you know, 10.1.10.1, whatever the IP address is. But one of the things that's usually invisible that you don't see is the port number that goes along with that. So if you're going to a website, you're going to 10.1.10.1 colon 80. And that colon 80 designates what port you're trying to hit on the web server. So what port forwarding does is within your router, what you do is you configure it so that if traffic is coming in on port 80 or a specific port, you then code in what IP address it's supposed to go to. So if somebody is going to go to www.failnormal.com, what they're going to do is they plug in www.failnormal.com into their browser. That will go to DNS, that will grab the IP address for whatever my external IP address is then they will be routed there. So their traffic comes to that external IP address that's on the router. The router will then see, okay, this is traffic for port 80. Within my configurations, traffic for port 80 goes to 10.1.10.10, let's say, and then it will route the port 80 traffic to 10.1.10.10. So this way, you can have different servers uh, offering different services and different uh, protocols uh, to different traffic coming from the outside world. So 80 can get directed to your web server, 25 can get directed to another server, 443 can get directed to another server. So you can have multiple different servers running, offering different services. As the traffic hits that external IP address from your router, it will see what protocol uh, what port that traffic is trying to use, and based off of that port, it will then route to whatever IP address you have on your network. Now, it's important in most small business or, or, or home uh, routers that you're going to have, you can only direct ports to one IP address. So port 80 can only go to one particular IP address. So if you're going to try have to, some kind of load balancing or redundancy or something like that, that will be another configuration that you're going to have to build out because with, with the port forwarding, it's port 80 to one IP address to 10.1.10.10. You can't put 10.1.10.10 and 10.1.10.11 and that's not how it works. It only goes to one IP address. Now, it is important to also understand that if you have a server that's providing multiple different services, then you can have different ports all pointed to that exact same server. So port 80 can be pointed at 10.1.10.10, uh, and port 25 can be pointed at 10.1.10.10, and port, port 21 can be pointed at 10.1.10.10. So this is all that port forwarding is, is that all network protocols use their own ports. Uh, so whenever you're setting up a server on your internal network that you want to be that be accessible from the outside world, whether it's a web server, whether it's an email server, whether it's an FTP server, whether it's a VPN server, whatever server it is, all you need to do is you need to figure out what port that server is going to need. Then you go into the router and you configure that port to point to the IP address that you've you've created for that particular server. So that's what port forwarding is and that's why it's important.